What is going on guys, Matt V here, bringing you a little overview of Update 2. It's finally here. We can see for sure all the new cars in the game, which we'll be going over. Uh, we don't have the new track yet, uh, but let me know what you guys think that's going to be. We'll go over the Street Series events, a lot coming in this video. Here are the cinematics that they play for you uh, when you open up the video. We have the new, uh, right here, we have... Uh, you know, China, Hong Kong cinematic playing now. Uh, so this is the first time you're going to be seeing this because they didn't post it on social media, I don't believe. Uh, but this is really cool. And let's get into this, man. So here we are just opening up the game and we see the 4 GT here again and the first thing you're going to see is this test drive. So we can test drive now and test drive is exactly what I wanted. You can choose 400 to 800 meters and choose what any, any weather condition you want to have. You have your best time there so you can keep track of your best time and continually try to beat it and test drives are going to be very important coming up because of the changes that they made to your performance rating. The, those changes that they made, they may have no impact on how we tune, and they may have everything to do with how we tune. We may have to completely change the way we go about tuning. Uh, it's gonna take us a little bit to find out, but I'm gonna be working on that, and you know, keeping you guys updated as we go along here. But you have a retry here. It's, it's very nicely set up. I'm very happy with this mode that they introduced. You also make money. Uh, which is nice so when you're actually working on tunes you can make a profit now here's one thing that kind of sucks but you know they got to make money somehow so now when you claim your free gift boxes you're actually going to have to watch an advertisement in order to claim it so it's not really free anymore technically uh, but yeah you're going to have to watch that ad uh, I, I had to I just cut that part out uh, there is a glitch that has been going on uh, that I'll show you guys later that made me a lot of money and I did it by accident I mean this isn't even something I tried to do to manipulate the game and you'll see it coming up here but the new interface is really nice uh, very clear for what you want to do here uh, and then you have the street series events at the end and we will get into those later but let's go to the quick race now one thing I'm kinda upset about with the quick race is I wanted it to be a way for people who you know didn't have a lot of money and didn't want people to keep raising them huge bets and betting them pinks and stuff like that. People who just wanted to race and didn't have the money to bet. I wanted them to be able to use this quick race feature for that specifically. But instead, you're going to have set betting things that you have to comply with. So right now it was at 10,000. Uh, and I don't really like that too much because you don't know the person you're facing. They could be faster, they could be slower. It's really just you know, 50-50. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a good way to make you money. Um, and here is the Champions Clash rewards that we got here. Uh, not too much because we're on PC. I also like that they put your daily task rewards up at the top. They don't pop up in the middle of the screen anymore. So they will be out of the way, which is nice. Uh, and they just changed the interface here a little bit. You see those so close things. I don't remember seeing them before. Um, but overall, they did a good job changing the interface, I believe. But yeah, that, that $10,000 bet thing is a little bit annoying because I don't think I'll be doing quick races at all. And the wait time actually was pretty long. Now, as you see here, it popped up again. But the thing was, I didn't even notice at the time, it continues to give you the rewards as it pops up. And it pops up, I think, another time here, bang, popped up again. And we continue to get the rewards. We're at $564,000 now. Uh, so that is a glitch, you know, on their end. Nothing I could do there. I kind of just, I mean, whatever. I got some free money out of it. And here are the new cars in the game. And these are the Street Series events. Now, we still don't know a lot about what these events are going to be like. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to have the car or if we're going to be able to do them anyways. If we have to have the car, then it might lead to people kind of, you know, being pressured to spend money and open up crates to get the cars. A lot of them are gift boxes only. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here's multiplayer. Not too much has changed in multiplayer, uh, but one thing I did notice is betting. No more million dollar betting, it looks like. I mean, as you saw, I had like $600,000 almost, and uh, it goes only to $25,000. 
uh, which kind of sucks to me. I, I, I would have liked if they kept million dollar betting, but I guess some people are probably, you know, blowing their whole accounts or getting raised too much money and then they have to either chicken out or take a bet that they couldn't afford to do. So maybe that is going to be good for the rest of you. Let me know what you guys think of these changes. Anything you guys like, let me know. Anything you don't like, let me know in the comment section. Would love to hear back from you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm really loving the test drives. I think that's going to be huge. And uh, also the BRZ and the Ford Fiesta both got a buff to their torque. The BRZ got a 15 torque buff. So the stock torque used to be 180. And now the torque is all the way up to 195 stock, which is nice. That's that's a pretty good buff. And the Ford, ST, the Ford Fiesta ST is going to be 220. And it's going up to 230. So the BRZ actually got buffed more, and I don't know for sure if that means the BRZ is going to be faster. I think it'll probably be faster in the quarter mile for sure, uh, but I don't know if that is going to be enough to make it faster in the half mile. The Dodge Dart also got nerfed, which is good to see because I don't really like the Dodge Dart that much, and it was giving L's like crazy to the Fiesta and the BRZ out of nowhere. Um, so overall, I'm liking those changes. I think... They could have done more buffs and nerfs um, in the SA class area, uh, but I guess they left those alone for now, to my understanding. And here we're just looking at the Champions Clash layout, and now we're going into the shop to take a look at the new cars. Uh, so here are the new cars, we're just going through them right now. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I don't know how to say this, I think it's... Uh, Veneer. I'm pretty sure it's the Veneer Super Sport. So this is the W Motors Veneer Super Sport until someone corrects me. And this thing is beautiful, man. Can't wait to uh, make a tune on it and get some content out to you, to you guys. The developers said they would actually be giving me one of these. So you guys can expect content out on it here. Uh, I will make, you know, a tune and I'll really be studying what changes have been done to the ratings and see if we need to change our tuning method or not and now that we have test drives that'll be easy to do and here is the 812 super fast i mean i'm definitely more excited about the finir but this is still a beautiful ferrari great to have in the game uh, you can compare their stats if you want to um i just displayed their stats at the beginning there but yeah this car is beautiful man uh so we have these two and then the other one i'm really excited about coming up is going to be the Ford GT, which a lot of you guys already knew was coming out, uh, and that car is beautiful, man. When I first heard about the Ford GT, like the first ever time, I was like, man, why is Ford going to make a supercar? Like, it just didn't really make a lot of sense to me, but I mean, it is a really nice car. I mean, look at this thing. So nice. I love where the exhausts are placed. I love the body design. Uh, it's it's like a little Formula One ish, but at the same time, still looks like a, an exotic you know street car. Uh, really nice, and I can't wait to get a hold of one of these too. I'm definitely gonna be bugging the developers to give me one for sure, uh, and then we'll try to maybe do a giveaway, which will be a lot of fun. And then we got the Camaro LT. I mean, you know that's fine. They're just adding another car to C class. Not too exciting, honestly. We already had a Camaro, so I would have liked them. I would have liked to see them go to a completely different car that we haven't seen before to completely change it up. Because uh, now we have you know two Camaro variants, or we might even have three, right? The Capo. Yeah, I think we have three: the GS and then this one. So I mean, I think I would have liked more variety. Uh, but I mean, maybe the developers just really like Camaros, man. <laughs> Uh, and if they were gonna bring in a Camaro, maybe the ZL1 would have been a little more cool But maybe they you know wanted to make an addition to C-Class so they went with that I was just here. I was just checking out the uh, customization area and uh, Seeing if there's any changes. There was no real changes that I noticed other than the underglow which we will get into uh, The underglow now what it does is you can see all the variants of underglow uh, you even though you don't own them you can see all the different colors that are available to you, which is pretty cool um, Right here, so I don't even own any of those, but at least you can see them all which is kind of cool It just says gift boxes only when you click on them uh, But it's interesting to see I, then you'll know for sure if you have all of them I would like to, to see them add some more rims and stuff like that, but you never know they still could in the future 
Um, and yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I missed in the comment section. And remember, nobody loves their subs like Mac B. And I mean nobody, man. Take it easy. I'm out.